So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys of the fan project that I am working on with you guys. It's a video series called Our TWD Stories, where people from all over the world share their experience with The Walking Dead based on five different topics that I have given you guys. So far, we have done the first time you have ever watched The Walking Dead. And what's your favorite character, moment or episode in the franchise, in The Walking Dead? Thank you guys so much for all of your submissions. Oh my God, going through all of the clips and text posts and stories. It's, it's been absolutely nuts. It, it really has. Getting to hear what the show means to so many people is just, it's fucking beautiful. So thank you guys uh, to those of you who have taken part so far. This week's topic is conventions. So if you guys have gone to a convention, met a Walking Dead cast member, met up with a bunch of friends at a convention because of The Walking Dead, I want to hear your stories. Any photo ops or autographs you guys might have gotten from cast or crew from the show. Funny stories or funny run-ins or interactions that you had at conventions. You can email them through WeTransfer if you guys want to send clips, video submissions. You can email them to ourtwdstories at yahoo.com. You can also DM me. Um, I, think, I think you can DM short video clips on Instagram. But you can DM me your text posts if you want to and they'll be included in the video too. That video will be going up this upcoming Saturday. The response has already been amazing to this series. So thank you guys so much. I've had so much fun doing it. And yeah, the information and all, everything that you need is down below. The link to my Patreon is also down below where I do a whole bunch of reactions over there. There's two uploads a day. I most recently started doing reactions to Sandman. Netflix's Resident Evil only murders in the building. I'm finishing up with the Umbrella Academy. And I've also just started reactions to House of Dragon. The more extended version of this Tales of the Walking Dead reaction will also be going up over there. So. Let's get started with tales. ...is nature's great reclamation effort in our current geographical epoch. Within this territory, demarcated by a 40-foot deep, 200-meter-wide man-made trench... Did I click the wrong thing? ...and elevated the homo mortis, a term I have called... No, okay, we have, we have walkers. This is the, the right thing. The My chain. God, this feels different. I've spent years of the homo mortis which are highly manipulated Homo mortis? That's what we're calling walkers in this? Afraid. Homo mortis? Business. She seems to possess an acute auditory sense always one of the first to react to a disturbance So she got great here and specimen good for sunflower one of my original specimens He is the reason I am able to get this close to the herd He's like, he's my favorite walker I love him a lot And that is especially true in its purest form There's no right or wrong It's just the excruciating process Life. No, there ain't no beauty in this. These are zombies eating people. The whole fucking world collapsed because of it, and he's like, it's beautiful. He's filming a nature documentary about fucking zombies. They breached the sector to poach heads as trophies. Beyond the trench, mortar skulls are used as scare propaganda. Skull this hunters? Is vile. Where in the love of Christ did he get a drone in the apocalypse? In the age of apocalypse. And zombies roaming the earth. Vloggers have turned to desperate measures to stay relevant. It does it, it does really feel like a nature documentary. <laughs> oh no. He's like, yes, finally, some good content for my zombie vlog. Here we see the Homo mortis eating. A woman that tripped on some leaves, apparently. Okay, so she has taken a hand from the Merle Dixon or Aaron guidelines she has a weapon still taped to her hand yeah man you're invisible now quick pull up your hood the walkers might and see you oh my god is this human skin is that human skin this head aching god my stomach feels like someone's punching me from the inside out did you, you get bit i didn't get bit or anything okay. Ugh. i'm not gonna rob you or anything if that's what you're afraid of no offense, baby cakes. I don't trust fucking anyone. I'm Not a single humans. one. Why is she still following him for? He's like, fuck off and leave me alone. I saved you. Is that not enough? I gotta go fill him some trees. Okay, I know I made the joke, but don't eat berries. You shouldn't be eating things that you don't know what they are out in the wilderness. You could be absolutely tripping for your life clinging to a tree in ten minutes. So I take a chunk out of your neck? I apologize in advance. I wouldn't have like let me in or I am gonna turn and I'm gonna come in and fucking take a big old out of your neck. Nightshade berries. 
poisonous when not fully ripe. You've been slowly killing yourself for the last few days, so... Sick! Is he growing his own weed? This guy has a banging setup. He lives in a fucking tin tree house. He's got running water. Growing his own plants. You got 360 view of the outside. Weird fever dreams, and then when I woke up, you were gone. Where'd you go? I went outside. Yeah, things to do? The sound of your vomiting made me wheezy. I had to go sit on the balcony for a while. I found Homo Mortis body stacked up missing heads. <laughs> Homo Mortis? Is that what you call? You a skull hunter? No, that's not me at all. And then once nature corrects the damage, we go back and do it all over again. I'm confused. Are you arguing for chompers or for nature? They're one and the same now. God, people dude. like that freak me you out. He's alone. like, people are so selfish. Ball. People are horrible. The dead ball. deserve to roam well, the earth. I they can eat who they want to eat. Leave them alone. Okay, but then there'll be nobody left on the earth to watch your stupid fucking nature documentaries, man, so. I witnessed Specimen 21 killing a wild dog. And instead of consuming his prey, he left it behind for the trailing herd. Maybe he just wanted to kill the dog because he hates dogs. He's a cat person. Mind. And he Questions didn't feel like eating its insides. Instinctively, he's a protector. Yeah, it seems like someone that you knew. You're fixated on the wrong thing. This is about the science. You're very science defensive over this. I'm guessing she's right. Bye-bye. Don't come back. You wouldn't want to, nature boy. Oh yeah, he has to know Spurseman 21. He's out roaming the fucking wilderness in the middle of the night. Looking for him. Yeah. Hey, okay, give her a little blankie. That'll make her feel better. Oh. Wait, did he just rob her fucking arm? Not cool. Whoa. I'm working on a documentary. Walking with walkers. It's gonna be streaming yeah, on Hulu, Disney Plus, and YouTube Red this five. summer. And they've even gotten bigger. By five, even ten percent. Why? So giraffes have increased size by five to ten percent? That's a fucking terrifying sight. Unfortunately, disagreements fractured our group. We gave up our lives for this study. I don't think he doesn't like you very much. It's made out of homo mortis skin. It's how I can get so close to the herd and be left alone. So he careful, is just a scientific safe. version of the Whispers. Oh, You're wearing a fucking walker jacket. I won't live forever. You can take over the work when I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, and live like a recluse. I'm tired easily. He's losing weight. And finally, when I confronted him, he told me that he was dying of cancer. He made me promise to not kill him. You can't interfere. Let nature take its course. I would hit him square in the dick if I was trying to get to my friends and he was whispering, let nature take its course into my ear. You gotta help me save him. You let my friends die. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's like, that's different, I'm sorry. I just don't care about you or your wants and needs. Now come help me save my walker friend. I'll do anything. This guy broke his leg just by taking a tumble. Oh my god, and he fell again. Oh, I fell down. Oh, I hurt my leg. How'd you like nature now, motherfucker? With a mouthful of leaves and a broken fucking leg and your walker friend floating out into oblivion? You're gonna be okay. He's dead. Oh, he's double fucking dead now. They are far too close to that water for my like, and a gator could just get a whiff of your crying and come tearing up the banks to eat you. The one you killed in Specimen 21 was most likely on his way to join the herd, and they stumbled upon your friends. Hey, it's too late. If you go back there, you will die. It's too late. You weren't saying that when you were trying to fucking lasso your corpse buddy out of the fucking ocean. And so you're just gonna let them die? No! Nature is! Come back. I would let the gators eat him and I'd be like, there's your there's fucking still... nature. I'd be on her side. I'd, I'd be the same. I'd be like, yeah, I'd risk it all for the people that I love, obviously. <sighs> oh my god, she is zigzagging through a herd. The hill. Maybe when you robbed her arm, you pushed her one step too far over the edge and she just decided to die. 
Oh no, don't tell me that she fucking dies. Nature is what we hear. She got back to her community in time. How did they not get the fuck out of here? Nay. Nature is Nay. Hungry. I don't want to deal with you today. Get back into the fucking car. Nature is what we know. Ugh. Yet. He looks kind of like Jeffrey Dean Morgan when he has his skin hood pulled up. I get what they were going for with that one. It was an interesting take. You're giving us Mr. Scientist Man. And it's nice trying to see somebody um, study them and try and take on a scientific approach. Uh, it was... I, I thought that one was kind of bland as hell. The coolest part of that whole episode was that man's coat. But yeah, that's it for this week's reaction, you guys. Like I said at the start of the video, um, part three of the Our TWD Stories video series is going up this upcoming Saturday. So if you have any convention stories that you guys want to get in, that you want to share, the link to my email is down below and also to my Twitter, my Instagram, anywhere that you can find me, that you can reach out if you want to take part. I'm very excited, as I said, and yeah. The more extended version of this reaction will be going up over on Patreon sometime this evening, along with a whole bunch of other reactions throughout the week. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.